Hi, this is Oog from EI Web Design with uh, kind of a second part video with um, Beaver Thema and custom post types. Um, I was prompted to do this by a question from somebody, um, so I thought it would be a good excuse to do the video. So here I'm going to be dealing with how to create archives for your custom posts um, using Beaver Thema. Um, so the site I'm using for this is in development. Uh, it's an order of service um, design site for a printer. Um, and at the moment I've got um, uh, static pages, um, in other words I've got my designs in here and I've got um, a list of designs with uh, I'm using WP Show Post which I'll, I'll post the link in the comments uh, which is quite handy instead of the um, standard view post module. So that's that and then here I am building the uh, individual designs as a custom post type uh, and later on I'll fill those in with custom fields to make it easier for the user. So that's all fine, it was covered in a previous video, um, but here I've got links to archive pages um, and I wanted to make sure these actually work and I can link to archives. I'm inserting those, by the way, by um, inserting the post terms um, using Thema. Um, if you have any questions, I can uh, refer to the previous video or I can um, do another quick one for you. Um, so uh, a couple of tricks to be able to show the archive. There's two ways to do this. There's kind of the default way, which would be using your themes archive page, and there's the Beaver Thema way. So if I head over to my dashboard um, and to my custom post type using CPT UI, and over to my post type, the first thing I need to make sure I do is that I have actually enabled archives for that post type. So this is the post type of design. Um, and if we go down the list, you will get to here, has archive set to true, so it has a post type archive URL. You can overwrite it. Um, I haven't, I've actually overwritten the customer rights, the slug of the um, post type to designs. Um, so if you're looking for where your custom post type archive is, actually it is simply a case of taking that customer rights slug, which is designs. Um, it's not a big difference to what it would be otherwise, it's just design. So if you hadn't rewritten it, you just use that word design. And then if I head over to my site and type in um, like that, if I go to designs, then it will bring me the um, archive. Now this is a standard archive from the theme, so this is all I've done is put my custom post like um, your um, slug in here. Uh, but obviously it would be better if it was themed and had a bit more of a layout to it. So the way to do this, I if we head over to um, Beaver Thema, oh, and one thing incidentally, um, originally I was getting a, a page not found error, and um, one of the things you need to watch is if you have another page that's called the same, I think what happens is that WordPress gets confused and just goes page not found. So I had this designs page, which is my static page, was called designs. Um, now I've renamed it our designs, but because it was called the same thing, um, I was getting a page not found, so that's worth bearing in mind. So anyway, how do we do this with Thema? So if I go to the Builder and Thema Layouts, you see I've already created a design category archive, um, but effectively what you'd do is you'd add new, um, and you'd go an archive, archive for CPT, but I'm gonna do that with you now. So Thema Layout, and it is an archive, um, as a theme layout, and I would set it to display um, because I've registered my custom post type in here. Say to my design archive, uh, if I'm going to do design category archive to all design categories. And as ever for Thema, you can have a different design for different categories, but I'll have the one here. Launch the page builder, and you'll pretty much get the default, um, which um, it's got the, if I click on here, you'll see it's got the default posts module from Beaver Builder. And then you can go and customize that to your heart's content. Um, you know, where you want to, um, whether it's a list of gallery, your masonry, columns, etc., etc., etc. And that's it. And once you set that, you can see here, um, if I was just to do that and to go done, publish. Then when I now next type designs in here, which is my archive, oops, design's not going to work because it's designs, then it should bring, um, actually it doesn't bring that one because I didn't allocate it to this one, apologies. Um, the uh, Let me backtrack. In order to show your categories, 
The easiest to have found is to actually put them in the menu. Um, not these, these are actually in the menu. Even if you delete the menu later, it doesn't really matter, but it helps you uh, quite quickly find the URL. So if I head to menus, I'll show you what I mean. Because um, this is my primary menu, um, because I've got my design categories here ticked, I can see them down there. Um, I've added two in here. If I wanted another one, I would just go uh, add modern. And voila, it's down here. So that's a design category as opposed to a page. Save that. Um, and if I go back to the front end of the site, you'll see that I've got these. Obviously, I'm, I'll get rid of these. It's looking rubbish. But if I click on floral, for instance, you can see it's now pulling design underscore category floral. And the reason it's doing that is because the um, if I go into custom post type UI and my taxonomies um, and edit, you'll see that I've got a taxonomy of design underscore category. Um, so that's what it's doing. So you know if you could do it manually, you would just go design underscore category, put that in front of that. And if you remembered that your um, design categories um, are called for or modern popular, then you put that at the end and it will work. But it's much easier, I find, to just head it to the menu, pick it up, and then even if you don't want to use it this way, if you want to do it somewhere else, just copy paste it somewhere and then you've got the um, URLs for those categories. Um, and you can see here, this is actually something I've done with um, Beaver um, Thema. Um, so I will go back to Thema. I'm sorry, this is probably a bit disjointed. Um, I'd shot it before and I had to shoot it again, so apologies for that. But um, So my design categories is allocated to category archive here. Um, and I think this is because I've got two and it's getting a bit confused. So let me bin that one and go to the one I was working with. So the one I was working with earlier is this one. So if I go and edit this, you'll see what I mean. So I've got a design category archive set for all design categories. I'm launching the page builder. I've already set a, a template, but effectively what I'm doing with this um, is um, I saved a template um, built with Beaver Builder. I'm using two components. One is um, the range and I'm inserting the archive title. So with a plus button, just simply insert archive title and I'm putting a word after it so that it um, will always say floral range or modern range or whatever. And here, um, instead of the um, Beaver Builder built-in post module, I'm actually using something called WP Show Post by Thomas Bourne, who is the developer of Generate Press, and this is a very good little plugin. So I'm just choosing to use that, but you could use anything you like. Essentially, once you've, you can see your uh, archive, you can um, start it however you like and publish this. Um, and if I go back to my dashboard, um, now what we can do quickly is show you the same steps for the main archive. So the main archive, remember, it's now it's currently displaying as just the archive from the theme, like that. So what we're going to do is give it a bit of styling quickly. So if I go to my builder, builder theme and layouts, um, and here I'm going to add new, and I'm going to go designs archive is what I'm creating. It's an archive page, I like the layout. I will choose to have it at the bottom um, to my design archive and I will launch the page builder, which gives me the default builder. Um, and you know, I'm not going to do any styling to this, there's not much point, but it's basically there. Um, you know, I will just quickly do it as maybe columns. Like that, save it, done, publish, and that's it. That now exists as an archive page. So he says, crossing his fingers, if I go designs, then I will get this instead of getting the default theme module. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Uh, easy to say when you know how, obviously. Um, hopefully, that's helpful, and I'm sorry if it's a little bit disjointed. Uh, the previous one was better, but it got deleted. Um, any questions, post them in the comments, and I'll be happy to help if I can. Cheers, bye.